Good day, farmers. Purple Mentat here, bringing you day nine of spring year one of my playthrough. Where? Oh, crud. I left my... Sunny day tomorrow. Darn. I left my watering can in the cave, didn't I? All right, let's see. What's the fortune teller I have to say? It's going to be a neutral day. That's fine. We have got to get a move and move in if we're going to be make today work out for us. Let's go ahead and drop off everything. Everything that we're not going to be using, which is everything. Except that small steel sword. Steel small sword? One of the two. That. That we're going to make use of. So, as we left our watering can in the mine, we're not going to be able to water things until the end of the day. Ooh, look, free, free potato. So we're going to toss our potato in there and we're going to head straight up and around to the mine. Do a bit of forage along the way if we can. Not going to bother gathering seeds today as we're already short on time. We will do a quick five levels in the mine. And let's see, 600 bucks. Mm. Hopefully, we will be getting some cash here soon and be able to get some more stuff planted and get our watering can upgraded. I don't want to plant a ton of parsnips, though that is a good way if you want to focus on that. Instead, I think I might spend some time chopping down trees outside of everything. Yep, hey look, there's all of my things. Alright, let's see if we can make it to level... Uh, 25. And yeah, I know I should have sold that in the Adventurers Guild, but it's not worth that much money, so I'm not going to worry about it. Ooh, copper right off the bat. Good. Always need more of that. We're going to need copper for our tree taps and to upgrade all of our tools. Ooh, box. What's in the box? Ooh, rubber boots. Those could be good. Plus one immunity. Never mind. I would rather have the defense and immunity from the leather boots. Ooh, hey, mixed seeds. All right. Oh, it's a crab. There we go. Die, crab. Die. At least they go down a lot faster now that we have a proper weapon. You know, something that's not rusted through. Real lousy uh, way to get an adventurer started on their career. Remember, folks, the goal is down. Doesn't matter how we get there, as long as we get there. That slime. I've been told by one fan that slimes have the highest chance of creating a... stair... or a... Uh, I want to call it a stairwell because you build stairs a ladder. But... I'm not entirely certain that's true. It seems like I get more from the bugs than anything. However, keep in mind, it, you may very well get more from slimes. I personally always hunt down the slimes because you need to kill a thousand of the things if you want to get the Adventurer's Guild rewards. And we want all of the Adventurer's Guild rewards. So there's no reason not to. Hey, stop that. And there we go. Those guys are a lot easier to kill now. Oh, hey, look. There's already stairs. Great. We got a bit of time. We will double check for more copper. We won't be finding iron until we're past level 40, but that's okay. Right now we mostly need copper. You don't do any extra damage to these crabs if you knock their heads off, their little uh, stone hats. It just makes them run away from you, which is very helpful when you have a very weak weapon. Once you have this weapon, though, that's not necessary. This weapon is also strong enough to kill these guys before they cocoon. Which is a lot nicer than dealing with more flying bugs. As you can see. And we got a... Um, I, I, I think of those things as moonstones. They're always like a mystery gem. I don't know why I call them moonstones. I'm sure they have an actual name. Everything in this game does. Where, oh, where could that stupid letter be? Alright, we're wasting time. Let's, uh, bomb our way down. One piece of coal. 
Sure. You can make cherry bombs with coal and copper ore, and it's definitely worth it. Get your way through a whole bunch of stone a lot faster and using a lot less energy. And sometimes you just gotta... Uh-oh. Hmm. Awesome. Stairs. And there we go. 25. We'll do a quick poke for some... Copper. Maybe another geode or so. I'm not seeing anything good immediately, though. And we will check out as soon as we head uh, back to the stairs. Eh, we'll till this real quick. It's only noon. No? I guess not. Oh, there we go. Omni Geode. Nice. You can open those up. Uh, they just have a very large potential drop pool. A potentially better usage of them is to give them as gifts. Because there are a couple of people that are very happy to receive Omni Geodes. Yeah, that was worth digging. Lots of cave carrots. Those will be useful. I have been informed that my theory about foraging is likely wrong. I have not verified this for myself still, but in general, be wary of where you're getting your experience. You may or may not actually get any, any experience from some of the sources that I claim. Hmm. I'd really like to bring all of this back with me, but that's not really an option now, is it? Uh, sap can go away. Yeah, we'll toss that in the chest. Apologies there, had to wet my whistle a bit. And... Clay. We'll come back for those next time. No, Maple, why have you done this to me? Fine. Scythe, I don't- oh yeah, we leave our sword here. Yeah. Come on, it's like I don't play this game. Alrighty, uh, do I want to make a stop at the Adventurer's Guild? No. We will take the village path back. If we happen to run into anyone other than Linus back there, we will try to stop to talk to them. And keeping my eye out for sticks or worms or whatever you want to call them. I'm not very good at spotting them. Bum, 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 bum. Mm hmm. Problem is, I tend to be looking where I'm going, and everything's moving, so I don't notice the motion that much. Ew. She's a mean girl, huh? Oh, you're bored. Huh. So you get your jollies by hanging out in the, um, what would that be? The town park, maybe? Fountain, wide open space, sure, why not? Hanging out in the town park and mocking people. Hey, there we go. And it's a book. I need to do... There we go. Huh. I wonder if that worked. I'm not entirely certain that actually got me the book. That definitely destroyed that leak. Okay, yep, I'm running into the whole, uh, your inventory is full issue again. Alright, so I've got a good collection of copper ore now, and I've made quite a bit of it into bars, actually. I think that it is time to cease mining operations for a bit and focus on the farm and foraging, because we really want to get those tree taps going as fast as possible, and we need to have our Rand ready for the dance? Is it the dance? No, the egg festival. That's it. So, we're going to be spending a bunch of energy chopping trees for foraging experience. And, of course, watering our crops, doing the daily farmer routine. All the while, we'll keep some coal going in our furnace. Watering the crops. Watering the crops. Put 
potatoes and leeks. I think I'm going to have enough energy to do some seed picking after all. And I definitely need to clean out a couple of these uh, seedlings before they get any larger. I love having access to so much energy in the form of field snacks. It's made the game a lot more pleasant this playthrough than it was in the past. Wake up, run around, water your crops, maybe chop down a tree, and look, you're out of energy. Well, I guess it's time to go to bed. It'd be, I'd be in bed at two some days. And that wasn't fun. That was like the anti-fun, basically. Just got my spring seeds to water now. Uh, what am I low on? I'm low on maple, mostly. It's because they grow so fast. You can always get lots of <clears throat> pine cones and acorns very easily. The maple trees, they just tend to sprout up real quick. Clean out some rock while we're over there. Make more space for seedlings to fall. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. I'll get the rest of this watered. We will fill our watering can and then get the rest of this watered. How about that? Sounds like a plan. Start some more coal going. The ultimate goal is to get to a point where money is making itself and I don't have to focus on it. I don't, uh... I don't need to necessarily have a ton of money coming in, as long as it's regular and effort-free. And I'm hoping that the tree taps will lead me to that, as well as... Well, I mean, once we're through the summer, we won't have money issues anymore at all. Starting to feel exhausted. Well, I better eat another field snack. Because I still got things to hoe up. Yay for maple seeds. So far, I've mostly seen people suggest that I go after... Oh... What's her face with this? Salads. Leia. Because you can buy salads for super cheap from the bar or make them yourself once you get the level 2 house. Which is another one of those on the very long list of things to spend money on. I want my kitchen. I want proper food. I mean, the field snacks are nice and all, but I'm turning three inedible nuts into something that looks like a protein bar. They can't possibly taste that good. Bum, bum. Nope. Nope. Alright, that should be another couple field snacks worth of running around. Let's check the southern area, the forest, for some forage and make a swing through the beach. That should get us some more petty cash. And also some experience for our foraging skill. We'll chop a tree or two while we're at it. Maybe. What are we at? We're at 39? Yeah, we can chop one tree without running out of energy. There we go. Trying to keep an eye out for the forageables. I know I miss them frequently when I'm just running around like this. Ooh, horseradish. Once again, I get focused on where I'm going and not watching the screen properly. And then you try to talk while you're doing it at the same time and, well... You're just going to miss a lot. I think someone called it uh, YouTube blindness. 
9.40. Is it worth running to the beach? Yeah. Ooh, some spring onions. Nice. Is that enough? Foraging three. I don't remember if I was two or three this morning. I forgot to check. I know that I looked at it yesterday, but that was real life yesterday as well, so... Yep, I'm sunk. Once we get real food going, then we'll pretty much stop going to bed on time ever. Because at that point, you have defeated the only downsides which are money and waking up with very little energy the next day. I mean, if you get to the point where you're making lots of money without doing lots of work, you don't care about a measly thousand every now and then. And if you get to the point where you can restore multiple days worth of energy from the kitchen and your cooking skills, then you don't care about waking up at half energy. Win-win. That's a coral. Okay. Alright, let's head home, see if we got that foraging level up. Oh please, oh please. That would make life so good. That was a nice relaxing day. I enjoyed that. Quick run through everything. Oh, hey Willy. <clears throat> I really should do more fishing. I'm not gonna, but I should. Oh, come on. Nothing good in the trash this time. Oh, hey, what do we got here? Need a green bean. Sorry, I don't have any green beans this year. Makes me wonder what project he's working on that he needs a green bean. Sam's a weird one. Not that anyone in this town is particularly normal. Gold clam. We'll sell the gold horseradish too. Why not? Actually, we'll sell the clam and the coral and the spring onions. And we'll throw away the mixed seed. I don't think I even get a single coin for that, but it's not in my inventory anymore. Yay! Turns out you really want to hang on to your fiber too. Don't Don't throw it all away. Don't do what I did. Learn from my mistakes. Okay. Seven copper bars so far. We have enough to upgrade one tool when we have the cash and the right timing. We actually made a profit on our snacky snacks that day. All right. Turn it in before. There we go, we got our tapper, so net tomorrow we'll be able to start getting some tree taps put together. And we pull in a grand total of 600G out of mostly foraging. Coral pays off big, gotta love it. Alright, thank you very much for joining me folks, hope you have enjoyed today in Stardew Valley. If you have, leave a thumbs up, tell me what you liked. If not, leave a thumbs down, tell me what you'd like to see me do better. Either way, if you want to see more of these videos, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.